hi guys welcome to my youtube channel please like subscribe and comment what is gas exchange it is the process by which respiratory gases are passed across a respiratory surface name two gases that are exchanged across a respiratory surface carbon dioxide or carbon dioxide and oxygen explain why respiratory surface has to be thin this is to reduce the distance for the gases to travel or for, to diffuse it is moist to dissolve the gases again we say it has to have a good supply of blood capillaries to transport the gases it has to be well ventilated or good has good supply of oxygen gas Give the respiratory surfaces of the following insects, tracheals, amoeba, cell membrane, man, alveoli, and frogs. They have three, that is the skin, the buccal cavity, and the lungs. The diagram below shows the structure of an open stomata. Study it and answer the question that follows. So name the parts labeled A. A is epidermal cells. Part labeled B, that's chloroplast. Part labeled C, that's stoma, the upper channel. And uh, part labeled part labeled D, that is the guard cell. List down the functions of the structure above. One, it allows for gas exchange, that is for carbon dioxide and oxygen to be exchanged. And then how is it, uh, and then the, how is it adapted to its function? It contains chloroplasts that allow for photosynthesis. Its inner wall is thicker than the outer wall, that is to control opening and closing of the stomata. State three theories that explain the mechanism of opening and closing of the stomata. You have the photosynthetic theory. Starch sugar interconversion theory and the potassium ion theory. The diagram below represents an organ from a bony fish. Study it and answer the questions that follow. So this organ represent there, represented there is a gill of a fish. Part labeled M, it's the gilba. N, it's the gill rakers. And P, it's the gill filament. State the function of part labeled N, which is the gill, gill rakers. They trap the solid particles in water, preventing them from destroying the gill filaments. Part labeled M, which is the gill bar, uh, it's where the gill rakers and the gill filaments are attached. How do the structure labeled P adapted to their function? Those are the gill filaments. They are numerous to increase surface area for gas exchange. They have thin film of moisture to dissolve the respiratory gases. They are thin to reduce the distance of diffusion of gases. The diagram below represents a section of human respiratory system. You study it and answer the questions that follow. Name the part labeled A, nostrils, C, that's trachea, D, lung, E, bronchus, F, alveoli. Give three reasons why it is more advantageous to breathe through structure A, that is to breathe through the nostrils, than B. It's because the nostril cavity has air, hairs, and the mucus secreting cells that trap solid particles and dust. The nose cavity is well supplied with blood that warms the nose the mo and moistens the air. Then it has cells that are sensitive to smell, that is uh, limiting the inhalation of poisonous gases. How is structurable C adapted to its function? Structurable C is a trachea. Trachea, it has... Uh, it's rumen or it's tubular to allow passage of air. It has mucous membrane to trap dust and foreign particles. It has cartilage that prevents it from collapsing and keeps it open. Name three diseases that children are vaccinated against in Kenya. These are diseases that are in the immunization schedule, 
like tuberculosis, measles, meningitis, whooping cough, pneumonia, etc. Diseases that affect the circulatory system in human, we have thrombosis, arteriosclerosis, varicose vein, hypertension, all those affect the circulatory system in humans. Then here we have a scheme that shows a blood clothing process. Uh, you're supposed to identify the following substances, ions of Z, those are calcium ions, vitamin X, that is vitamin K, enzyme Y, that is thrombin, protein W, uh, that is thromboplastin or thrombokinase. Uh, explain the role of protein W. It neutralizes heparin, the anti-clotting factor, making the blood to clot. Vitamin X, it is required for formation of prothrombin. Enzyme Y, it helps activation of fibrinogen to fibrin. And uh, ion Z, ion Z, those are the calcium ions. They activate conversion of inactive prothrombin to thrombin. Give the reason why blood clotting is important. One, it prevents excessive loss of blood from the body tissues when you are injured. Then it also prevents uh, damage. Uh, it pre prevents microorganism from entering into the body. Name four types of teeth found in mammals: yes, incisors, canines, premolars, and molar. The name given to the system of assigning two scientific names to an organism, it's known as binomial nomenclature or the binomial naming system. What is the similarity between an organism with the name Panda tigris and Panda padas? Uh, they, they belong to the same genus, that is Panda. Yes, Citra sinensis is scientific name of an orange tree. Generic name is Citrus, the first name. Give the reason for your answer it because it starts with a capital letter, and of course it's the first name of the uh, the scientific name of the orange tree. The name, writing it in the correct manner, you have to consider that the species name must start with a small letter, genus starts with a capital letter, then you either underline them separately or you write them in italics. Give examples of plant tissues, epidermal tissue, palisade tissue, parenchyma tissue, vascular bundles. Animal tissues, we have epithelial tissue, skeletal tissue, muscular tissue, connective tissue. What is an organ? It's a group of tissues that perform a same function or we say group of tissues working together to perform a specific function a name of two animal organs the heart the skin the lung the brain plant organs the roots the stem the leaves a student was preparing a section of a plant cell to be viewed under a microscope give a reason for cutting very thin section is to allow light to pass through staining to make sure that the features are more clear or to improve clarity. Putting them in water is to make the cells remain turgid or to avoid distortion of the cells. State to importance of water in animals diet. Water is makes up the blood. Water also uh, forms a transport uh, medium. It's, those are the two importances of water in an animal diet, and it also helps to the cells to have a good environment. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like, and comment.